ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton Hillers JV Field Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Mike Tarosian for game one of today's triple header. We have the JV Field Hockey team, and then we'll have the varsity game, followed by the boys varsity soccer game at 7 p.m. tonight. Should be a fun day of Hiller's sports and Mike it's certainly a bit warmer today than it was yesterday. You know what Tom I was uh, at the other job sitting there watching your broadcast and I could hear you but all I could hear was the wind and hearing that wind I knew exactly what was going on down here. Yeah it wasn't the most pleasant situation in the <laughs> world but it was two good games Yep. And uh, the JV team for Hillers Girls Soccer ended up in a, in a tie in a very good battle. And then the varsity team was able to take home the win against Ashland. So it was some good sports, but it was uh, certainly very windy right, right. and don't, pretty cold. Yeah, folks, don't let the sun fool you today. I mean, it is uh, brisk. It's, a, it's about, I think it's like 40 degrees right now or 39 degrees here in the field. And, uh, you know, hopefully everyone's gone out to vote. Uh, at the middle school, and and uh, you don't have to dress as warm for that because, as everyone knows, it's 15 degrees warmer up the hill than it is down here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we are ready to get things underway here. Ashland will start off with possession, working right to left across your screen, and there are away blue jerseys. As Chloe Roberts takes it up over to Lily Isaac. And a couple of Hillers getting in there as we'll get a... Whistle here for the contact. It'll be Hiller's ball. And back and forth we go. Some contact there as the ball comes flying up. Hiller's trying to work up the near size. It's stolen away by Amelia Hebb. Whoa, look at that. And now approaching was Isaac. Sent to the top of the circle all kinds of traffic and the Hiller is able to take it away Hopkinton in their home white jerseys and we'll get a whistle here for the contact to Ashland Ball and taking it for the Hillers that is Nina Kunum getting in there Kunum trying to turn it around Tom Nappy, Mike Terosian on the call, Rowan Scott on camera for game one of our triple header of Hillers and Ashland. And I uh, want to say thank you for Rowan for coming out and doing a heck of a job where he's uh, basically just looking directly into the sun right. right now and trying to get you the shot. So if you happen to uh, see it drift off screen a little bit, that's because he's got that sun right in his eyeballs. We might have to get him uh, some laser eye surgery after this season. <laughs> Into the box goes Ashlyn, and it's swiped away. Taken now by Chloe Roberts, the junior captain. And she sends it out in front. It's going to go Hiller's way. And it is expected to be a little windy tonight. Yes. Hopefully not as much as last night. It shall pick up. So Ashley will take the ball uh, 30 yards out, 25 yards out. Yep, and uh, Reap trying to send it into the box. Nice defense. And the goaltender kicks it away. Just able to get it out of there. Along the far side we go. And some back and forth is trying to escape with it. It's Kimball along with them. And now here comes the Hillers on a charge. Working up field is a unlisted number two. We'll have to get a name on that. On the far side, might have had a number change on the Hillers. Yeah, you know, usually somebody forgets their shirt. Let me see if I could do it by uh, deduction. So. Uh... Okay, of course, the girls are all turned the other way. <laughs> Thanks. We'll figure it out. <laughs> 8.45 and counting. Left to go in this first quarter. As the Hiller's trying to work up the far side. It's taken back by Ashland. 
A sun drenched field right now for game one. By game two, that sun will quickly start disappearing. Absolutely. And uh, not only will you hear the wind, but you'll hear some chatter of teeth from our announcers, I'm sure. <laughs> A shot just wide there by Wiley Chapman, a freshman for Ashland. The Hillers are led by head coach Tori Harvey, assisted by Laura Yurkovicius, and Ashland is led by head coach Katie Blasi. And Molly Bennett is their varsity coach. Hillers will take it. Olivia Chen will put it into play. Stolen away, working up is Sibblesburg into the box, and she'll get tangled up with Hannah DeBoer. Twenty-five yards out for Ashland here. Good defense there by Bolster. Ashland keeping it in the Hillers zone throughout most of the action so far. And now they're trying to drive back to the box, but there to defend is DeBoer off the McMullen attempt. And we get some stick contact there. That'll give Ashland the ball. Take it once again from 25 yards out. Here comes Sibblesburg. Into the box, turned around, there's a shot, all kinds of traffic out in front and it's defended. Hiller's just able to get it out of there. And it was a nice attempt by, uh, I believe that was Batra, who was able to get it out of there. Here comes Hopkinton. Trying to get to it is the unlisted number two, which we'll be sure to get you a name on. Just past the reach of Interante. Here comes Ashland trying to work back upfield. For the swipe was Interante. Trying to get through his bolster. Now up the near side comes Interante. Interante and bolster. There are two players to look out for on this Hillers roster. They've had good seasons with this JV squad as it's swiped out by Ashland. Hillers trying to work their way into the box. Out in front, that is Bolster. Ashland quick to get back into Hillers territory. They got a two on one going up field. Here comes Chapman. Sends it up front. She was looking to get it to McMullen. Hiller's defense able to keep it away from the box. Sent down towards midfield and we get a contact whistle there. Four twenty and counting left to go in this first quarter. Alster sends it forward. And we have some contact here. This will go Ashland's way. Working up field, McMullen. Taking a hack at it was DeBoer. Ball came off the ground, forcing the whistle.
Hillers will take it from midfield. Balster. Getting in there is Interante. Up the near side comes Locke. And it's swiped away by Ashland. Bit of a back and forth battle we got going here. Working up the field, McMullen. Getting in there, DeBoer. Well, go through all my deduction. I, I'm going to have to assume that's Grace Lasada wearing number two. She's normally number three. There is no number three out there, and everybody else is accounted for. And I did find an extra number. And here it is coming in right now, number 22, who we don't have anybody for. <laughs> so after all that, <laughs> we have another player that will be coming in that I don't know. Well, it, well, they have some call-ups. I'm sure this is from the freshman team. Call-ups call from, from the farm system. <laughs> There's a shot and it is off the goaltender and out. A nice hack there by Interante. Well, it's nice seeing uh, Hopkins to get some offense going here where, uh, you know, Ashland has dominated this whole quarter uh, down in the Hopkins zone. The Hillers will take it 25 yards out. Possession at stretch A. Now working along the near side, lock. Nice pass between the legs of lock by Ashlyn. Here comes Porter. Or, excuse me, that's uh, Sibler's leg. She was tripped up. And another contact huh. whistle there. Under a minute left to go here in the first quarter. Scoreless in this JV matchup between Hopkinton and Ashland. There's a nice pass. Hillers trying to work their way into the attack zone. Yeah, could have tried to make it happen. Over to the near side of Gravel. Ashlyn able to get in there. Wind continuing to blow around a little bit. I don't think the girls fell at all. I think it's just us. I think so. They're in the sun drenched field, so. Well, that's going to end the first quarter after one. It's Hopkinton nothing, Ashland nothing. Second quarter coming up next on HCAM. Yeah, hit record. Oh, take it away. Stolen away. Here comes Roberts. There's a shot off the goalkeeper. She kicks it away. Now trying to clear it out is Batra. Back into the box it goes, and it's just wide. It looks like Porter got a piece of it. So Ashland putting the pressure on here in the second quarter. You know, that's not an easy thing to do, uh, trying to kick a ball away from a, uh, uh, someone coming at you like that. It's it's tough. I, I did it uh, once through uh, the Keeps Father for Heavy fundraiser. Uh, I did a few minutes in that, and oh my goodness, that was the worst. I thought I could do it. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's not an easy task. Ashton working their way back up. Here comes Roberts. Turned around. And a 
another stoppage here. Chapman will take it 25 yards out. Into the box now. Along the far side towards Kimball. Go Hiller's way. Back and forth at midfield. Ashland trying to attack once again. Working it upfield there, Chapman. Kimball gets in there. Hiller's ball, 414 and counting, left to go in this second quarter. Well, one nice thing is both sides have plenty, plenty of uh, uh, on the bench help, so you can't get too tired out there. It's like you always see those. Uh, the kids that come with three subs, and you know, you, you just can't win. You just gotta get tired. Right. Chasing it down is Batra. Anjali Batra. <laughs> Ashlyn swipes it up the field. Over to Locke. Here comes Locke down field. <laughs> Trying to take it away was Coonham. Boom, getting in there. Looks like Ashland's getting ready to do a goalie change here. In that right now, it's the captain, Kaylee Masilio. The Hiller is trying to work it into Ashland's attack zone for the first time today. In this quarter, rather. First time this quarter, yeah. I was say, <laughs> they did have a couple good drives <laughs> on the did. first quarter. <laughs> Let's not slide them. We know, we know it's been uh, Ashland Darwin in the Hiller zone, so let's not give them too much. In the quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Contesting is Locke as Chapman tries to take it upfield. Locke send it, sends it down over towards right. to Michael. That's a great effort through all that traffic there. That's nice. Swings it around. Here comes the Hillers. Can they get an attack going? There's a shot off the goalkeeper. Another, Another shot. Don't and up. no, it's turned away and then slashed out of the box. I think Hopkins got to get another chance at it. I think it hit somebody's foot. Lily Isaac was able to just swipe it out. Good attack there by the Hillers. Yeah. And from 25. Over towards Coonham. That went off her foot. Arm sends it up, intercepted there by Locke. And some back and forth will draw the whistle. It's yes. going Ashland's way. There's D. Michelle and Isaac getting tied up. Hiller's 
trying to get some good possession time here in the second quarter. They've had a couple of nice attacks. Will be Clocker's ball. We'll have to start back a little bit from the 25 yard line. 10 seconds left to go here in this first half. Sent down to Coonham. Well, you know, it took a long time for Hopkins to get it down there. But once they did, you know, they dominated. And uh, a couple shots on net. They'll take it. One of them's going to go in eventually. Certainly was a couple of good attacks there towards the end of that second quarter. And a whole nother half to play after the first half. It's Ashland 1, Hopkinton nothing. You are tuned in to Ehlers JV Field Hockey on HCAM. We are ready for the third quarter. A one to nothing Ashland lead here in this JV matchup. Tom Nappy alongside Mike Terosian on the call. Rowan Scott on camera. And it's been a good battle. So yeah, it has. Yeah, it's it's been really good. I like the, uh, I mean, good strength of this Ashland program here, keeping the uh, ball uh, in the Hiller zone for most of the game. But once Hopkins gets into the Ashland zone, they manage to keep it down there and uh, put a couple shots on net. But, you know, as, as we saw that uh, uh, CD captain uh, Massiello was, uh, you know, held held off the Hillers. And uh, now Massiello gets a, a break. And they replace her with unlisted number 28. <laughs> 28 in there. We'll have to. Oh, do I to have to do all this number thing again here? <laughs> no, I think yeah, a lot of kids. It could just be a goal. Yeah, it's just goal shit. We'll figure it out. Well, it's 50, 28, 20. Yeah, they get all these. Yeah, because goalie shirts are different from regular shirts. And don't forget, we have two more games coming up for yes. you tonight. We have the Varsity game. They'll be celebrating senior night tonight. And then we'll have Hiller's Boys Varsity Soccer coming up at 7 o'clock as they take on Ashland. Ashland uh, was able to take care of business against the boys soccer yesterday at Ashland. Or, excuse me, they're actually playing tomorrow, tomorrow at Ashland. At Ashland. Yes. I was thinking of uh, the field hockey team. It was actually Ashland uh, in the varsity matchup getting the win yesterday. But Hiller is looking for some revenge tonight on their senior day. As we go back and forth at midfield, getting in there is Sibler's wig for Ashland. That's a tough one. That is a tough Silber's one. wig. Silver's wig. Silver wig. Here comes Sophie Porter. Ashlyn working left to right across your screen. It'll be Hiller's ball. I think uh, out of all the referees, now that they're using these electronic whistles, I think field hockey has to change the batteries the most. <laughs> they, <laughs> there are a lot of whistles in these games. And uh, we watched them back in the uh, 90s when uh, my wife was coaching. I used to film the games for her then, and there was twice as many whistles back then. So... Just to give you an idea, it, the sticks are modified. They they changed it all around. The pads are modified on the goalies. Um, eye protection now for uh, the field players. And, of course, the big rule this year, it's seven on seven. Right. With the uh, COVID rules, they wanted to try not to change the core rules. So they changed the amount of players on the field. So each player can have a little bit more space. They still have to wear the mask. Yeah. Still have to uh, sanitize the ball in between uh, quarters. Yeah, I'm actually enjoying the seven on seven a little more, to be honest with you. I think, number one, it's easier to keep track of from an it announcer's is, perspective. Right. It's definitely easier, but it's also a faster game. It is. It moves a whole lot faster. And I think you have more breaks than you used to have. Yep. 
and uh, a little bit more action. And I tell you, I love the two-minute uh, quarters, uh, breaks of the quarters of the halftime. That, uh, that makes it uh, nice. Yeah, nice system they got going. Is Interante trying to work her way up? Well, I think it makes it nice. No, I think it, what makes it nice now is the fact that we're doing three, four games a day. Right. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> so it's, it's just, uh, it's, uh, from, from our, our point of view, it makes it easier. Well, in the case yesterday, we knew how long we got to run laps back and forth to try to stay warm. <laughs> <laughs> there was some running going on over here yesterday. Because <laughs> when you're doing two, three games, standing in the same place when the wind chill's minus 20 is right. not the easiest thing. And, and, you know, normally, you know, in between games, you know, we'll have a chair to sit down on or whatever. You can't sit in that stuff. No way. You know, the, the only thing you should have done was grab one of the barrels and have a little fire going. Yeah. We get some get it. some warmth going in here. I I think that might have been frowned upon, but yeah, we meant to ask Rich. Can we bring a fire yeah. pit up here? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least a barbecue. Right. I would take it a barbecue. That would have been great. And those little George Foreman grills. <laughs> yeah, George Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the, the, those were the greatest things, the George Foreman grills. Until like the third time you use it, then you get sick of it. <laughs> I think I got three. Three uses out of my George Foreman. Great for tailgating. Yep. Now it's at the fire station with the rest of the stuff I don't use. <laughs> <laughs> Back and forth we go. The Hillers trying to clear it out of their zone. There's a swipe by Allison LePage. Over to the far side. Tangled up along the far side was Durante. Now Durante trying to work up the middle. Will be Hopkinton ball, 6.48 and counting left to go in this third quarter. Yep. One nothing Ashland lead. First goal of the game came with 9.01 left in the second quarter from Sophie Porter. And it's two on one here, but a nice Job controlling as LePage working up into the Field box. Here's a shot. Takes a swipe, kicked away by the goalkeeper. Nice job by LePage. And she was able to get between two defenders there, and now we get a whistle off sides. Twenty-five yards out. Hiller's ball. Here's Dee Michelle. Sets it go. up. Do we have a break here? Crosses Back in front. It. Oh. Couldn't quite reach the cutter. Trying to cross it right in front. But defense is very strong down there in the clock of zone. It certainly is. That was Reese Interante. He's going to come out for a breather. As we approach the five minute mark, Hiller is starting to put some pressure on here. De Michelle sends it over, cleared away for the moment. Taking it down for Ashland is Patton McMullen. Make that Peyton McMullen, Peyton. excuse me. Roberts trying to get it away and getting in there for the Hillers is Lauren Streche. Streche sends it up. And here comes Kylie Locke. Locke approaching the box. Takes a swipe at it. And did that and go it. in? Yes, it's, it did. Uh, not stuck oh, between. wow. The goaltender couldn't find it. Right between the pads. She couldn't find it. And then released the pads that came falling out. And the Hillers took another swipe at it. Yeah, I mean, the ref was right there looking behind her. And it wasn't coming through. She gave a kick forward with the left <laughs> foot. And there it was. 
Well, I don't know if uh, people can see it. Maybe uh, real quick, Rowan can get a shot close up of uh, of those pads. But they're basically big styrofoam pads that also cover the feet like a big boot. And uh, it's easy for the ball to get wedged in between that pad and the cleat. I'd imagine. Thank you, Rowan. Hillers with possession. Kylie Locke then took a secondary shot right off the side of the net. Nice attack there by the Hillers. Locke trying to get in there again. We have some contact. <laughs> 25 yards out it'll go. Or 15 yards, I think, in that case. Stretch A trying to work back into the attack zone. Ashland there you go. having to defend oh. hard. Trying to track it down, stretch A. Now here comes Ashland working upfield. Chloe Roberts, the captain. And correction, that's Lily Isaac. Isaac. Trying to pass to her left. It's deflected by DeBoer. Nice defense by DeBoer. Here comes Kylie Locke. Approaching the box. There's a cross. Oh. Out in front and swiped away by a defender for now and then put out of play. Just got to finish those up. You know, they get they, they get so close. Getting that shot on that is so hard for them. And yeah, Locke wanted that one bad. She wasn't too happy when it went out of play. Nope, not at all. 130 and counting left to go in the third quarter. A 1-0 Ashley lead, but the Hiller is forming some nice attacks. Here comes Locke again. Sends it over to Stretch A, and she's turned away. Ashley going to try to work upfield now. Yeah, they want to get to that ball first. I mean, all that had work. They don't want to see it go into the other side. Silver's wig against Stretch A along the near side. It will go Hopkinton's way. Nice hack. But out of play it goes. Well, Rowan's liking it now. That sun's just about to go out of the trees, but as you can feel it, the uh, last two minutes, it already dropped five degrees here. <laughs> it is starting to get chilly yeah. already. Yeah. Glad we have a swim <laughs> crew today. <laughs> you got that right. Trying to come away with it, Locke. And here's a quick approach off the side of the net. And with 15 seconds left in the quarter, that's most likely going to do it. With that last attempt, that was Reese Interante. <laughs> Ashlyn will take it here, but only five seconds left. That's going to wrap it up for the third quarter. We head to the final 12 minutes coming up next after three. Ashland one, Hopkinton nothing on each cam. We are ready for the final 12 minutes of this JV matchup between Hopkinton and Ashland. A one nothing Ashland lead as we head into the final quarter. Don't forget, coming up at 445, we'll have the varsity game. And we'll have some alumni calling that game for you today. Olivia Mingase and Megan White on the call. And Rowan's sticking around for that one too, right? That's right. And at 7 o'clock, we've got boys soccer. And we'll have uh, Frank Schnur and Steve Sweetapple on the call for that game. And John Ritz uh, running the camera for that. So a triple header. Of yeah, it'll action. be dark. It should That's be dark right. real soon. Those lights should be on in about an hour, I would say, maybe less. Less than an hour, because uh, I'm sure for halftime for 
for the Rashi game, the lights will be needed. Because I think it's a 4.30 to quarter five is the sunset. So now that we're into daylight savings time. Thanks for breaking that down for us. <laughs> <laughs> I know more about daylight savings time than I do field hockey. So what do you want to know? You want to know the only two states that let's, don't? Let's bring in our daylight <laughs> savings time expert, Mike DeRosian. <laughs> Ashland trying oh. to approach. <laughs> Sent over to the far side as Gravel trying to get to it for Ashland. Getting in on the action, Chloe Roberts. Takes a couple hacks at it. We get a contact whistle. So if you haven't gone out there, guys, get out and vote after this game. Ooh, you got time. Oh, big collision. Big contact there. No whistle. <laughs> Let him play on. That was just a case of incidental contact. Ran right yeah. into each other, D. Michelle and Dalloway. That's how you know when you get a good referee crew is when they let plays like that go. Right. Because they know it was just a pure accident and no one was hurt, thank goodness. So it's nice to see all the snow off the field here. I wasn't sure these games were going to get played. I mean, you know, that one or two inches turned into six inches here in Hopkinton. Right. And uh, so the games uh, didn't get to be played on Sunday. That's why we're here tonight. Yes, yeah, Saturday and Sunday were both postponed. And there's action tomorrow night at Ashland High School. Boys uh, varsity soccer will be playing. And here comes Ashland trying to work their way upfield. Roberts. Swipes it forward. Getting in there for the Ailers, D. Michelle. Porter. I don't know if it's safe leaving those two clockers behind the D Ooh, like there's that. There's a shot, turned away. Secondary shot, turned nice away. Safe. Still in the box. Can they clear? And a third shot is gonna be wide. Good attack by Ashland. It was Willie Isaac followed up by Sophie Porter. You know, it's scary enough when you have uh, one offender behind your defense, in between your defense and your goalie, but two clockers were there. And uh, they almost uh, dominated. Great job by our goalie. Madison Hadley in net for the Hillers. Along the near side. And I think <laughs> I think the I think uh, Emily Emma De Michelle's mask came loose. She's holding on to it, yeah. trying to keep it over her face. And the uh, stick came out of uh, the hand of uh, number zero. <laughs> That's a first. I haven't seen that one yet this year. But I can understand how that may be a problem when you're running hard up the field and mask just flies off. De Michelle, nice nice effort though, holding it on, well controlling the ball. Yeah. Yep. We'll give that the Mike Terosian Effort of the Day Award. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Kim Ball trying to slice it upfield. Well, you are a man of effort, Mike. Yes, yes, I tried, as you found out yesterday. <laughs> I was right there supporting you the whole time. <laughs> no, no comment, no comment. <laughs> 7.40 and County left to go. The Ailers trying to attack. Sent up to Lasada. Lasada trying to break through. Oh, there's Ooh. a chance right there. And it's swiped oh. away by the defender. Yeah, that one little whiff Lasada saw and took advantage of. Good effort there by Chapman swiping it away. Lasada would have had a clean shot right on net if she hadn't done that. The Hillers will take it 25 yards out. As we approach the seven minute mark. Jude Sorbeji coming out of the game to take a break. Lasada was trying to work it forward once again but was diverted. Now trying to turn it around, that is Interante. Stolen away by Isaac. Just past LePage. 
And here comes Ashland. Isaac trying to get in there. Nice move there by Streche and a great steal. Here she comes. Wow. Back and forth battle going on here. And I just think the breakaways you get with seven on seven are just, they uh, make it the game a lot more action packed. Oh, absolutely. There's, there's been some good breakaways in this game. Absolutely, and I mean, look at the open space. And it, it, we're just talking about four players being missing out there. Right. And what a difference. Here comes the Hillers. There's a swipe off the oh, goalkeeper. Oh, no one there in front. Oh. It was it's cleared out for the moment. That was a good Chapman. shot by Interante. And now the Hillers trying to work it back in. Stretch A sends it up. And getting a stick on it, sending it wide was Locke. Five twenty and counting. Left to go here in quarter number four. This JV matchup, there remains a 1-0 Ashland lead. The Hillers have, in my opinion, played their best quarter yet here in the fourth. They are putting some good pressure on. Isaac trying to work it upfield. We'll go Hillers' way with some contact. I mean, you know, the, the evenly uh, placed teams, these two, and Hopkins just uh, has just been unlucky on a few few uh, shots, and they just need to take a few more. Stretch A takes one there, a little wide to the right. And it's defended by Ryan. Trying to work it back in is Locke. Locke tied up in a battle. Nice effort there by Wiley Chapman for Ashland. Hopkinton winning the possession battle in this fourth quarter. I'd say overall in the second half. Ashland has found themselves on defense for the majority of this second half, but they've defended their attack zone well. Stretchy sends it over, no one's there. Swipe down by Porter. Getting in there for the Hillers was Anderson. Comes Ashlyn, maybe trying to get one last attack effort in there as we approach three minutes left. Oh, and that was lifted off the ground. That drew the whistle. A little wrister on that one. Yeah, little well, what they like to call a dangerous play. Maybe if. Boys can't play the ice hockey this year. We could have. Uh, yeah, get them on the field. Get them on the field. They yeah. don't have to wear the kilts. Still use the puck. Yeah, It'd be interesting. Well, it's just like uh, street hockey. You get a ball. Exactly. I like. It. Yeah, we get. I think we got something going here. Won't be good for us though. It'll be cold. <laughs> It'd be nice if they could, uh, you know, do something on the basketball court or maybe with rollerblades. Right. <laughs> Well, the indoor sports is the thing here. Right, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. You're outside. The best, I'm saying uh, the basketball court's out front. It's cold. So what? Right. Like pond hockey. There we go. I like it. We, we, all, we can play something. some pond hockey. Yeah, they, they could ice that uh, field up. Yeah. yeah. Here comes Batra. Outdoor classic. That's it. Locke trying to send it over. Hillers in the attack zone once again. The city of uh, Marlboro has a uh, a uh, rollerblade hockey rink up by the in front of the high school. 
There we go. I'm sorry, Hudson. Hudson. Ah. Tournaments. Outdoor tournaments. Trying to steal it away was enlisted 24 for the Hillers. Minute and 10 seconds left to go here in this game. Ashland with the ball. Swiped up to Locke. Locke racing nice. upfield. Under a minute left, can she get there? Nice to see a goal right here. Taken by Batra. Oh, get it off to Locke. All right, all right, 30 seconds. Never say never. One last attack here by the Hillers. Can they do something? Shoot! In. Oh. There's a shot, oh. and it's turned away. Still in the box, and we get a contact whistle. Yeah, actual ball. No, not good. Ten seconds left. They better get it going quick. No, I can't get the game off. That's gonna do it. Ashland comes away with the one to nothing win over the Hopkinton Hillers in the JV matchup. Mike, it was a good game out there. Yeah, great game, and you know what? It, they were both uh, equals. No one really dominated. Whenever a team was in somebody else's zone, they were able to keep it down there. And it'd take a nice little simple clear to, to change the momentum. Well, we got two more games coming up for you in a little while. At 445, we'll have the varsity matchup field hockey between Hopkinton and Ashland. And at 7 p.m., we'll have Boys Varsity Soccer, Hopkinton and Ashland. But for the JV game, the final score for the final time, Ashland takes down Hopkinton one to nothing. For Owen Scott on camera, my broadcast partner, Mike DeRosian, I'm Tom Nappy. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Get out and vote.